Do you understand why guys um, would have a problem with a, with a woman with a high body count, though? Do you understand the logic behind it? I think it's insecurity. That's where it comes insecurity. from. I think it's insecurity. That's where it comes from. Explain. Like, do they really want to have a woman that is just a virgin? Because she's not going to be good and she's going to have no experience. They don't and- need you to be good, though. I mean, that's so boring. Isn't that it's boring? boring? That's so boring. I'll tell you what. That's it's not so boring. like just it just sounds transactional to me. It just sounds so boring. I don't know. Sa- that's very strange to yeah. me. It sounds transactional for a virgin. I like you because you haven't been, been with anyone. It, yeah, it's like you haven't been to it. I don't know. That's why I like you. I think that's crazy. I don't know. I don't that doesn't make sense to me at all. Well, you can understand, first of all, if they're religious, that that comes from a different place, right? So yeah, if that's of course. Like, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So guys that are alpha guys that are, you know, um, want to be, you know, head of household and consider themselves leaders and want to, you know, provide for their women. And they don't, they don't find it unattractive that a woman would have inexperience because they feel like, you know, what's going to make that experience in the bedroom so powerful is not that she can bounce off the walls or knows all these tricks or knows all these sexual things. And, Oh, she looks, Oh, look, she's doing something like out of a porno. You know, that's not what's appealing to them. What's appealing is that, She's really excited to be there for him. She's present. She's loyal. She's committed. And he doesn't need her to be an acrobat. He just needs her to be loyal. So that's where they're coming from. It's not appealing. The the, the sexual promiscuity actually is a turnoff because then that means if she's doing all this stuff, she got a lot of practice with all these other guys. That's not special to me anymore. That's not, that's somebody who's more likely is, to Are we talking about stray. sex or dating? Sex. I'm talking okay. about sex. Yeah, but... I'm, I'm going to assume that they're probably dating. If if she's gone to that step, they're probably dating, right? Probably. I mean, you never know. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you don't see <laughs> that about count. Do that? No, because if she's picked to be with you after all these guys, isn't that special because she picked you instead of all these other guys? That's, that's how I view it. It's like she, she picked that person. She went through 100 and yeah. didn't like any of them as much as she likes the last one. And then she has all these experiences and is probably really great in bed. Well, they'll say no because there was something wrong with her judgment that she allowed herself to be that open and that intimate with so many guys. She couldn't have been in love with 100. If you're using a 100 is a big number, right? So yeah, she, let's say, she couldn't let's, have say been. let's say 10 people. Yeah. That more normal, maybe. <laughs> I think I think the yeah. challenge is, and you know, it, the conversation always goes when I have this mm-hmm. conversation with Destiny too, like virgin or somebody who slept with like a hundred people. Those mm-hmm. are two extreme cases, mm-hmm. right? Do I think that most guys would take a virgin gladly over somebody who had slept with a hundred people? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. But do I think, you know, they're gonna be opposed to a woman who's slept with a few guys that she had relationships with, where she did pair sex with emotion, where she was having something real? No, I think that's totally okay. I think the challenge is that they worry that if you're able to disconnect sex from emotion, you're more likely to then cheat in a relationship. You're more likely the second you hit a roadblock to be somebody who can go cheat because you're you're wired that way. You're capable of just sex is sex. If you're a virgin or somebody who had sex with two guys and both of them you've been madly in love with, you don't even know a world outside of sex paired with love there's a lot of safety and security that a man gets from that can you I feel understand like I that? would be a lot more scared if I had a girlfriend that was a virgin and no experience like let's say she goes to work and then she meets someone else and they have like a really good chemistry and a lot of sexual tension I feel like just because she doesn't know what that is on the other side she would be more interested in doing it than if she is aware of her feelings she's aware of what she can do and what she wants because she has a lot of experience I feel like if she picks me it makes a lot more sense because she she knows so much better about herself because she gained so much experience and learned about herself. If that girl gets to 21, 22, 23, particularly now given like what the college experience looks like and she's still a virgin, that is a girl who you're going to feel really comfortable going to work. And if she does have a dynamic with somebody that maybe there's some chemistry, she's going to she's going to guard her body so heavily and treat that? that. So <laughs> well, because because that's how it works. Right. That's that's. It, it would be like a, a huge contrast between imagine a, a woman who went through college, went through, you know, the hookups culture scene, was out with her friends who were doing that and didn't do it because she couldn't physically like that just wasn't something she could do. She didn't feel like casual sex was in I, her DNA. I think like if you let's say you're dating someone from high school and then you're getting married to that person and this high school kid that let's say that he grew up and he has been really what do you call it like his parents were like just like serving everything for him he doesn't know how to cook he doesn't know how to clean his room he doesn't know Mm -hmm. how to even 
get a job or anything like that yeah. and then this girl is like doing pretty fine for herself but that's like mm -hmm. the only thing she knows and she has this sort of idea that she wants to have this guy and she wants to have sex after marriage and then after they get married and she has sex with them she meets a guy at work that has this energy of being in control and taking care of the house and cleaning and can do all these amazing things why wouldn't she be interested just in the personality of this one guy that seems to have the shit together compared she to would. yeah that's what I'm saying. But like, but then she's already, she's already picked someone from high school, let's say, right? That because she didn't know what she wanted. She didn't want to have, she didn't want to marry a kid. Right. right? Well, that, yeah. that's fine. Mm -hmm. But that's not, that, that's not on par with a justification yeah, but for I don't, sleeping yeah, around. Like, but that's you don't why have I don't, to sleep with a hundred guys to figure out. No, you don't have to do that. But I think so having some sort of experience is good. That's pretty much my point. Instead of just having no experience. I don't think with no experience, you know what you want. I think people tell you what you want at that point. I don't. So again, though, no yeah. experience is not promiscuity, right? So that we have two ends of the spectrum now. We have like no experience where you're a virgin, you enter your first relationship, that's the only man that you know, that can come with its own sets of mm -hmm. challenges. And then you have someone who's sleeping around for hobby, and by the time they hit 25, they've been with a ton of guys that they don't even care about, some of whom they don't even know their last name. So, well, if that a, could be the case. If yeah. a guy, well, right, but uh, and all I'm saying is, guys the vast majority of men mm -hmm. may not say a virgin is their first choice. Maybe they'll say, you know what? I, I like a woman who maybe she's had a couple of relationships that she's really been invested in. Mm -hmm. It shows some relationship history. It shows she knows a little bit something about relationship. Maybe they'll say that, but they're definitely going to pass on this girl over here that's been with everybody under the sun. And they'll take that virgin over this girl over here any day of the week because they'll at least know that that girl is extremely selective. Probably comes from the kind of family that taught her to have self-respect in her body. Probably is going to be very unlikely to stray in the same way. And I know you see it differently, but if you're able to have sex loosely, if you're able on any level to do that, you're much more of a threat to a man than someone who's unable to do. Like I, I was not able. And I always thought it was like, I was like, I'm, I'm flawed by design. There's something wrong with me. I used when I was growing up, I actually felt like I just can't, I can't do that. Like it, it's, un, it would be uncomfortable for me to even, truly like make out with somebody that I didn't have like a feeling for that made a lot of guys feel really safe because they knew if they sent me out and I was hanging out with my girl like that was I was not going to stray it wasn't in my wiring do you think that there is any other chance for someone to trust you without looking at your past like that do you think that there's anything you could say or show like presently well I think I think people do change right and I think like I always say, there are people who change for the better, right? They have a past. There's people who, women who were promiscuous and had an OnlyFans and did whatever, and then they hit 30 and they're like, that's not me anymore. Like, I don't want that. Do I think those people can change for the better? 100%. Do I think it's still really hard for guys to process their past and come to terms with it? I do. So it's like, yeah, they can change. And maybe that woman would ultimately be an amazing wife, an amazing mom, but there's a lot of guys that won't be able to get past that promiscuity and they'll be thinking in their head, is this a liability for me? Does she like, is her ability to be promiscuous going to bite me in the behind in a couple of years? So th I think that's just how they feel, whether it's right or wrong. That's how they feel. A lot of them. If you like the short clip and want to watch the full episode, click here. And if you want to connect with me one-on-one on, -one on Manect, you're going to click right here. Let's get to talking.